Tackling a common yet often misunderstood condition, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. Turns out millions of people suffer from its symptoms. To tell us more about it, joined by Dr. Kenneth Schwartz, general surgeon and GERD specialist at Midstate Medical Center. Dr. Schwartz, we appreciate your time this morning. Want to start out with uh, an explanation of what GERD is and how this differs from the occasional case of heartburn. Great question. Everybody is going to experience heartburn at one time in their life, or most people, which is usually a dietary indiscretion. And what that does is distends the stomach and allows some burning fluid to reflux back up. And that's a very common thing for people to feel. Now, it becomes a real problem when uh, it is very invasive into your life, where you can't seem to get around it. It happens all the time. Mm. And most importantly, is associated with regurgitation where fluid or food makes its way up your, your food pipe into the throat and sometimes in your mouth. And for a lot of people, it leads to nighttime awakenings, coughing, choking on this material that's back up in their throat. And what we want to get across is our program here has been dealing with this and with the vast numbers of right. patients who deal with this uh, for the last 12 years or so. And we are able to offer the best in uh, testing and surgical treatment, which for a lot of people is curative. Yeah, doctor, most yeah, that's what I wanted to get into. What are some of the treatment options that are available to people with this condition? Sure. So people who have mild disease, uh, medication is extremely safe. Uh, those are the PPI medications, the, the Protonixes, the Nexiums, all of those. They work fine and they do a very good job. It's the people who go beyond that situation where medical management fails or is only partially effective. Th those people are typically uh, also suffering from a hiatal hernia, which is a diaphragm hernia. And medication generally, generally mm -hmm. does not cure that condition. And what we can do here is get you from a chronic condition that never gets better to a curable condition. What causes this condition to come on in the first place? Well, it's so if you're talking about hiatal hernia, which is really for me the crux of the problem, right? It is there's a huge genetic component. Anything in your life that's increased the pressure in your abdomen, so pregnancy, chronic cough, chronic constipation, that kind of thing. And the same pathology that causes somebody to have a hernia in their belly button will cause their stomach to go up a little bit into their chest and ruins the anti-reflux mechanism that we all are born with. So the what we offer is several different operative options to tailor to the patient to fix that hernia, mm -hmm. bulk up the, the anti-reflux mechanism and turn you back to where you were before. Not to make you into a superhuman and give you problems that old fashioned anti-reflux surgery used to create. We don't deal with that. We are here to fix a problem and not create another problem right. afterwards. Dr. Schwartz, where can people go to get more information about GERD? I know you've got a lot of programs at MidState. Yeah, I mean, um, so there's the website, the MidState Medical website, there's the Hartford Healthcare website. I'm also doing a, um, I believe it's on October 1st. Yeah, a, uh, we've got it on screen. Yeah, Tuesday, October 1st from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. you've got an event. Yeah, and, you know, I'll get way more in detail and, and answer people's questions as well uh, at that event. And if anybody's interested in just coming to talk and to chat with me about their disease, um, especially those who are not happy with their care, I'd be more than happy to see uh, any patient who wants to come in and chat. Doctor, we appreciate it this morning. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having me. All right.